Hi, I'm Divas Bhattrai, Senior Computer Science Student at Southeastern. Hello, I'm Biswas Gautam, a Senior Computer Science Student at Southeastern. Hi, I'm Arjun Sarma, a Senior Computer Science Student at Southeastern. Hi, I'm Darshan Amate, I'm a Senior at Southeastern in Computer Science. Our system is a parking lot monitoring system that uses computer vision, machine learning and RFID technology to track the parking spots. Uh, we are all international students from Nepal and so far we've had a great experience with uh, the international office and also the computer science department. It really rocks. Now, right now we are monitoring these three cars. As you can see in our interface, uh, it shows that and the three parking spaces are filled right now. And we are going to get Arjun to uh, move his car from the parking lot. Yeah, and the car over there, the scooby doo car in the parking lot one, it's gone now. So it shows that parking lot is empty right now. My favorite part of this project was playing with RFID technology on our Arduino system. I liked uh, designing the system architecture, how all the modules communicated with each other, and doing the image processing. It was really fun. The favorite part for me was learning Drupal API and also playing around with CSS a bit. Um, the part I liked the most was machine learning and image processing. Okay, let's see what the hardware side does. So in hardware side, we have a RFID antenna over there that feeds the data to the RFID reader which sends it to the Arduino board and the Arduino board has an Ethernet shield that sends the information to the server over here. So to demonstrate we have tags that will be associated with cars so whenever they come in they'll have this tag and they will go through the antenna over there that will pick up the tag. So let's see what happens if this tag comes in green light green light means it is authorized all the tags can be managed using our system that has features of adding new tags removing them and disabling or enabling them so the whole system works in a dynamic way so that you can always add in more tags remove them and manage the whole system let me show you when the tag that is not authorized comes inside the system what happens red light so this tag was not authorized in the system so it is not authorized to come inside the parking lot as we saw the green light and the red light what they signify is the gate in the parking lot so if you had a parking tag come in and it gave a green light that means that the gate will open for the car but if there is a red light then the gate will not open